How are we going guys? Friday afternoon here in the shed and we are loading up today. I'm going to talk to you about hitches. Doesn't sound that exciting does it? Well, it actually is very exciting because we've been launching uh, overseas over the past sort of 12 months and the number one question I get on all the Patriot Campus product is around this little bad boy right here, the DO35 Hitchmaster by Cruise Master. Now, first of all, Cruise Master have an aff a heavy, heavy affiliation with Patriot Campers they have from day one. This is a product that we've been running from day one, and this thing here has saved my ass that many times, it's not even funny. We rolled a camper trailer on our first maiden big voyage uh, up into the Kimberley. My brother rolled seven times uh, his camper trailer uh, on the back of his Hilux, and I can honestly say, if it wasn't for this right here, he would have lost the Hilux. We've had so many reports come in from customers over the years that have been put into the same situation, and we're talking a one ton trailer. If you're towing a three and a half ton caravan, which is the maximum that you can do here in Australia, and you don't have one of these on there for safety reasons, you're in trouble. But outside of that, off-road performance is the main reason that we use the DO35 Hitchmaster. There are so many features in this little thing right here. Uh, I wanna try and uh, get through them all, but to do that, uh, you're gonna have to come in a little bit closer and we'll have a look at it on the Patriot Camper X1. So like I said, let's have a look at the installation on the DO35 on the front of the Patriot Camper X1. Now the first thing you gotta notice is the DO35, it's, it's really quite a compact unit. Now, or remember the old Trek style systems? If you've ever tried to line one of them up uh, under the directions of your wife and you haven't gotten into a fight, you're doing something a lot better than, than I did. But the biggest problem with those sort of style hitches was disconnecting in really heavy situations. Once you unloaded, if you were articulated and you had your trailer on angles and you pulled that pin out of that urethane block style hitch, you were never getting it back in. Trust me, it's been there. Uh, your 50 mil ball or even your bigger balls, again, for safety reasons, especially when you're off-road and probably more high speed sort of stuff. Um, once that ball's locked in, if you get into the situation, you get into the event that you swerve heavy, if the trailer's going over, nine times out of 10, you're gonna go with it. So that's, that's probably the, the biggest thing on the DO35 is this fully articulating spindle. So you can go 360 degrees in this direction, you can go 180 degrees in this direction. If you're going past sort of 90 degrees, your trailer's gonna be hitting on the, the back of your car. So that's gonna stop you anyway. So the fully articulating hitch is the main feature. You've got an all cast body now on the, on the new style DO35s. You can hear that wind pumping through the door at Storm and it's, it's gonna be a pretty hardcore weekend this weekend, I think on the Gold Coast. Uh, but like I was saying, in the, the first variations, they were uh, all laser cut. They used a lot of tube and laser cutting processes. Now, obviously, with the manufacturing volumes that um, Cruise Master are uh, doing, um, they've tooled up really heavily and they've gone to this new car system. Four high tensile bolts, uh, so you can put this onto any system you like, and you can either option it with or without a handbrake. Obviously, on, on all the Patriot Campers uh, systems, we use a handbrake. Uh, it's a ratchet style handbrake. Um, with a cable to your drum brakes, or you've got an option there for your disc brakes as well. So that probably sums up about the construction of it. Now, some of the other features, and, and this is the really clever stuff behind the DO35. You've got this check lock uh, cap on top. I'll just check that's locked in. What that, you hear that snap there? What that check lock does, and this becomes second nature when you're towing an off-road trailer. For me, I've got a little pre-trip check every time I stop. So if I pull up for fuel, and especially towing one of these things, people like to touch things that, that aren't theirs. On a visual inspection walk around the trailer, you know if that cap is locked in, if it's not off, your trailer is locked. There, there's no two ways about it. If you're in the unlock position, and, I, and I'll explain this in a second, but if you're in the unlock position, you can't actually snap that, uh, that on top. So it just floats, and you know that your trailer's not locked in. So that's a really handy feature. But the cleverest part of the design here, the actual pin, and this is just a, a protective cap, you can use that or not, is the spigot. Now, for the Australian trailers, we got a standard sort of three-quarter spigot at the bottom. For the United States trailers, we got a one-inch spigot at the bottom. So basically, if this is connected to the back of your car, you roll your trailer up, wind your jockey wheel down, the spigot goes straight through this little viewport on top. Once it's, it's the weight of the trailer goes onto your hitch, you push that button there and that's it, you're locked in. So literally since about sort of seven years old, Mia 
could connect a trailer. Not that a letter, she's too precious if something went wrong, but the boys have been doing it since they were about sort of eight or nine years old, and they still hook the trailer up uh, for me. Again, with that visual inspection of that cap, once that cap's locked on, I know that there's, there's nothing else that can go wrong. So it's a really handy safety feature. Getting back to what I said before about those difficult situations that you sometimes get yourself into and you do need to disconnect the trailer, it's exactly the same in reverse. You push this button here, slide that, slide that lock back, that'll snap into place, you wind the jockey wheel up and you simply disconnect. Now if you're on a funny angle, if you're on one of those odd angles and you do need to get the trailer back on, you can manipulate this by hand and another feature that I do use a fair bit when I'm connecting up my trailer, I'll, I'll sit this block in that upper position and as you roll back into it and it catches that pin, it'll roll over and drop straight back in. I think these guys, Cruise Master, they've reinvented the wheel when they bought out the DO35. And every year there's little minor changes that I suppose consumers might not often see, but as a manufacturer I see they're constantly improving it. Um, they are fully rebuildable as well with the bushes. Inside these stainless steel plates, um, there's urethane uh, plates in between, so you get that really nice slide. And we haven't had any trouble with, um, with them, them getting gunked up with gear, but again, it all comes down to maintenance. You've got a grease nipple in the back here, so you need to make sure you pump grease into there every 12 months or so. And just typical sort of maintenance stuff, when we put the trailer away, we'll give that a spray with some silicon spray or WD-40, and this thing will last a lifetime. So there you have it, guys. The DO35 by Cruise Master, hands down, the best hitch on the market. There's nothing else worth looking at, trust me. Um, we're gonna go and try and brave this wind. We're gonna go camping for the weekend. We're gonna finish loading up, and we're out of here.